Using Facebook's auto transcribe feature, click on your date time stamp to go to the video view window. At the ellipses underneath the video, click it and choose edit video. On the right hand side menu, click subtitles and captions. Under captions added, click auto generate it. And we could choose the video language. We could also choose the default language. And if we want to edit the captions, we can click the pencil. And we can see where the captions are along the timeline here. And we could double tap the areas to make changes here. Click Save Draft when you made your changes. And when you're completely done, tap Save. If you don't see the closed captions, click the cog. Click More Video Settings. Under Captions Display, well, actually, under Always Show Captions, make sure that's turned on, and it is. And we could choose how the captions are displayed, and that's here. And now we can see the captions. Now, what if we want to download the auto captions that we just created? I found the answer at this site. He has a video and blog instructions, Ryan Matlock. We need to look for the word inspect or inspect element outside the video. And we need to look for the word captions. So I'm going to play the video and right click outside the video and click inspect. And over in this area, I'm going to hit control F and I'll type captions. And I'm using my down arrows to select down. And the last time I did this, it was the second captions that I found. It looks like it might be the first captions that I found this time. And I need to copy this website. So I'm going to double tap to select it. I need the blob and everything. And right click and copy. I could click copy or I could just go straight to it. Let's try this one. Go to. And here is the closed captioning. And if you look at it, it doesn't seem to be in order. And the web page here by Ryan Matlock tells us what to do with that. So first I'm going to copy this into a text editor and I'm going to save it as a dot. It's going to be a text file, but it's going to have a dot VTT extension. And now I'm going to need to upload this to a VTT to SRT converter. And we'll use subtitle tools and I'll upload the file and I'll convert and then I'll download the converted file. And now I'm going to open the SRT file I'm going to do open with notepad and we can see the SRT format and it's in the correct order now. And now this SRT file can be uploaded to MediaSite or YouTube or any other program that would accept SRT files like Camtasia and see our other videos on that subject.